rising anywhere. I'm sleeping in. Rise from your grave. Find someone else to rise from their grave. Rise from your grave. Up from my grave. Oh, for the love of... Damn. For the love of Zeus. Ugh. Today I'm going to take a look at Altered Beast for the Sega Genesis. This game originally came out in 1988, and in Japan was known as Beast King's Chronicle. Altered Beast did very well on arcades, but the home console translations were very poor. On systems like the Sega Mega Drive and the Sega Master System, it did horrible. The sprites and graphics were just terrible, and it was actually known as one of the ten top worst games for either system. However, when it was relaunched for the Sega Genesis, and the soundtrack and sound was redone, and the graphics were redone and upgraded to 16-bit quality, it looked a lot more like what people knew from the arcades and did really, really well, along with other titles like Sonic the Hedgehog, Streets of Rage, or Golden Axe, which was done by Mokoto Uchida. Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a look at, well, maybe not this beast. I don't think that's the right beast. Altered Beast, there we go. One of the launch titles to debut on the Sega Genesis. Uh, this is one of my personal all-time favorite games for the Sega Genesis, and just in general. Great side-scrolling action beat-em-up. So, let's rise from your graves and start our adventure. Zeus commands you to rise from your grave and rescue his daughter, Athena, from the evil uh, underworld demon Neph. And as you're going through each level, you can power up by collecting blue power orbs that you'll get every once in a while from two-headed goats that'll appear on screen. You start out as just a regular clothed uh, Greek centurion, and each time you power up, you get a little bit stronger. You get some blue power-ups that appear on your punches and feet. And the third time, rah, you become a form of the Altered Beast, which this time is the werewolf. And the werewolf can teleport across the screen and damage enemies, and can also shoot fireballs from his arms. Welcome to your doom! Another classic line from Neff, and this is his first incarnation here, as he turns into a mud troll, and graphically rips his head off a whole bunch of times, and hurls uh, the heads at you, trying to kill you. But he's not too difficult to beat, and is easily dispatched. And the second level here, this is a underworld swamp level that you have to go through fighting off dragons and snakes and things of the like and you turn into the Geico insurance lizard? Now that I think about it, Sega Genesis and car insurance do go hand in hand. Oh, uh, well, no, but, but seriously, uh, you turn into a dragon and you can shoot lightning out of your mouth or you can charge the air around you kinda like Blanca from Street Fighter 2. And that's really useful against this boss, because all you do is just zap his balls <laughs> with your lightning, zap his balls, and he's quickly defeated. And next you go on to a underground earth. What is that? Oh my god. What are these crazy ants running around all indecent and... I mean, this is supposed to be a kid's game. Oh, this, that's just terrible. So you transform into Teddy Ruxpin? I, I, I'm going to go to the mall and ask Santa for a penis. What is going on with those ants? It looks like they're walking around with... Well, I'm going to try to keep this a PG show. And this version of the Altered Beast is a bear that shoots ice out of his mouth to freeze his enemies. And he just looks so darn cute doing it too, doesn't he? So you come up against Neff again in another encounter, and he turns into, like, this dragon uh, that's, like, in a hermit crab shell or something, and you just do your cute little attacks, and before you know it, that dragon's no match for the cute old bear. And the next stage here is a Greek underworld, kind of like a mausoleum, with flying dragons and zombies. 
pretty generic, honestly. And here you turn into one of the Cheetah Men? Well, no, but it's another version of uh, the Werewolf. And he can teleport up and down and also shoot beams out of his hands. And the boss here that you'll go up against kind of reminds me of, like, Chocodile or something from, like, Pokemon. It's like a cute little cro crocodile boss. And you just do that teleport attack up and down, and that'll take care of him. And now the final stage of the game. This is where you come up against Neff and his lair, and what in the hell? You have, like, Muhammad Ali, like, boxing gloves, like, jabbing and bobbing and weaving, and jump-kicking purple unicorns. Like, man, this level just... Altered Beast got crazy. I don't know what's going on. And this guy comes out kind of looking like Hordak from He-Man. He has a spinning blade on the front of his gauntlet. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the level's really increased in difficulty here at this point in the game. And just craziness, too. You also have fish that are in suits of armor rolling across the screen. And more buffed-up purple unicorns and boxing goats. <laughs> Bro unicorns? The boxing goats? The rolling eyeballs? What are these guys smoking? And yeah, I just can't get over the broed up buffed unicorns. They're really bizarre. So you turn into the gold werewolf in your final form here with your amped up powers and your final confrontation with Neff. And he turns into a big uh, rhinoceros, which can be pretty difficult, but just stay out of range and jump over his attacks, and he's fairly easy to beat. Might take you a couple of tries. So Neff is finally defeated here. And what's that? A blue bird came out of the smoke from where the rhinoceros was before. But, oh wait, it's not a bird. It's Athena. And Zeus is like, oh, I don't know about this. I don't think werewolves should marry my daughter. But hey, to heck with you, Zeus. We're gonna party. School's out. 